Hello and welcome to part two of our video how to create an RSS feed. I'm going to take this little icon and give it some embellishments, give it a makeover if you like. So the first thing we need to do is to put a gradient on the background. There's two ways of doing it and I'm going to show you both. Make sure the background selected and what we've done up to now is clicked on the gradient tool and clicked and dragged across. That's one way. Another way, and I'm going to undo that, is to have it selected and go up to the fill and stroke box. Make sure fill is selected and then it's the second little box along linear gradient. Click on that and the same thing happens. We're now going to add another colour or a stop to this. So we need to edit which brings up the gradient editor and add a stop. And if we see here, that was the left hand one, that's now the middle and this is the right hand colour. Have that selected and I'm going to change it from total transparency to total opaque. Just to make sure that it's the same colour as that, I'm going to go, yes, they're both the same. We have a vertical line here, a vertical gradient here. I'm going to change it to diagonal and this is where the gradient tool comes in and you click and drag there and click and drag there. And we've got a rather nice highlight going through from corner to corner. We're going to now create some depth on here. So make sure the background is selected and we're going to duplicate it. Control D. We're also going to give this duplicated layer a stroke. So make sure stroke is on and paint and it's a black stroke and I want to give it three pixels. And there it is. As you can see the white has now become sort of purple so I'm going to get rid of the fill by clicking on that. And so all we've got is a stroke. What we need to do now is click on the node tool, go up to path and down to dynamic offset. And you'll see a little node here. And what we're going to do is bring this node in. You can bring it in as much as you want, but that's too much. To about there. And that gives a sort of lip effect, maybe a little bit too much. That is selected because you can see the dotted lines around. Whilst it's selected, I'm going to change the colour. So make sure stroke paint is on. And uh, this is where I turn to the wheel and move that to there. I want to make sure it's, it's totally white. So I'll go back to that one and put that to 255 and that down to naught. And that is white. We'll give that a radial gradient by clicking on that one there. And what I'm going to do is move around there and down there. Can you see the further this one is the more, well it's all the way around. We don't want it all the way around. We just want a little bit there and these corners where it's dark. Nothing. Next we are going to give the background a stroke of two pixels. So make sure it's selected and go up there and stroke paint number, the stroke style, two pixels. We're going to colour it this blue and the way to do that, we know the stroke is selected, get the dropper tool and holding shift down because then shift refers to the stroke, just click on here and you'll see that blue is now, the stroke is now that blue colour. Let's make it a little bit darker. 
And the way I'm going to do that is just move the light along there. We're going to give that stroke a linear gradient. And using the gradient tool, I'm going to move that down there and that one up right to the top. Because what I want to do is to have a dark bit underneath and there's no light around there. Again, a little bit more definition. The final thing I want to do is to create a shadow. And before I do that, I want to group all these together. And so the quickest way of doing that is click on that icon there and they're all selected and go up to there and group. This is a safety measure if you like because if I inadvertently click and move one of these it, they're all out of line whereas now I can move it. I'm not too worried about putting it in the box at the moment because we'll sort that out afterwards. Okay, so we want to put a shadow around here. Well, this is where the filters come in. So I'm going to click up here and go down to Shadow and Glows and the Drop Shadow and click Apply. And it's as easy as that. It's underneath there. I'm just going to take the, just to show you what it looks like, just take the box off. And that's our RSS icon. I hope you've enjoyed both the videos and if you've completed part two, have a sense of achievement. If you have any comments, questions, anything really, we'd love to hear from you and you can post those comments on our fan page, the details of which are below. Look forward to seeing you in future videos. Bye bye for now.